All right, we will get you mounted up here. Hopefully, that's a good shot. I want to step up on a stool here. Come on, just the camera. There we go. So, I got this ballast. Ballast, um, some places are going to call it a transformer. This came out of a, I don't know, it looks like a fluorescent, but it's a high output fluorescent light. That's steel. We'll put that in the. The scrap steel bucket. My yard calls it Baylor, so I may refer to it in my video. Got the wire. Let me just grab the scale. Sorry about that. Should have had the scale already ready. So, I don't really know what this. Ounces, grams, pounds. Let's see what that is. 3.37 pounds. Um, say this is like an aluminum shell in this. So let's try to get this down there. Two pounds. So each one of the larger lights I have, which I have, I have 16 here, and I have I may tear it down here, depending on how much room I got on the floor. I got 16 here, I got 20 at my buddy's house. Uh, I think we got 30 total, or 19 at my buddy's house because we used his truck to get it. <sighs> Sugar-free Mountain Dew, not bad. Not a commercial or endorsement. Go after it right away. Let's clip these wires off. They don't weigh much. Um, but, they definitely would add up. So a tenth of a pound. So you need ten lights to get a pound of copper, which is going to be a buck. So you get a buck off ten. So it's like two bucks I got going on. Uh, I'm not really sure what's on the inside of the ballast. Um, I just throw all my screws in a little bucket. Uh, So tough because sometimes these is that a number one that's a Phillips number one Ouch, sliver sliver off the workbench okay because these is a little bit smaller of a screw head scale over plastic is trash Maybe some silver contact, but I'm not. I look at scrapping some of this stuff as the amount of speed at which you do it. Actually, that looks like it may be a number two bit. The number two Phillips back in here. The case is magnetic. It looks like it's a higher grade of aluminum, probably extruded. Hulking is, I'm hoping extruded. Extruded pays about double at the moment at my yard. And sheet. Sheet's like 20 cents. Extruded is around 40. Not sure what cast is. Let's see, I got a receipt. Extruded, 38 cents. Breakage, 12 cents. Zinc die cast is 40 cents a pound. Um, sheet aluminum 22 cents so 38 compared to 22 so an extra 20 cents almost here you see wire Korean electric motor baler sheet aluminum 20 cents nine ferris bonus got the bonus on that receipt one was not bad what was the total 616 dollars I saved up for a while now and I was getting like a, I think it was a 5% bonus. I want to say these screws are magnetic too. Yes, they are. So that's going to be like sheet. Hopefully. Oh, this is like. 
And his does have like a packing in it, like a. Um, so it's definitely extruded. Like I mean, definitely at least. Let's see, I don't know if that's on camera. 0.2 pounds. Um, so I mean, there's copper in this potting. I don't know if it'll separate. Looks like I got some separation over here. Never taking ballast apart because they're usually metal case, and those are like four cents a pound. Which, even if I can get the extruded cover off, and let's see what the yard says. But cover off that scale. Surrounds the circuit board, but this is still pretty, pretty rubbery. I don't know if I have an old chisel. An old chisel would probably do great. I do get my knife over there because these are kind of sharp on the back. But there's definitely, I don't know, there's definitely like a little board with a heat sink. That's usually what heat sinks are attached to. I think the whole kit and caboodle itself. That's a heat sink. And heat sinks are usually higher grades of aluminum. I don't really know what's in this. It's a thermal protection I mean this one's really new they'll say non PCB Electric motors, 13 cents. Copper transformers, 18 cents a pound. So, I mean, it goes from 4 cents a pound to 8 cents a pound. Fourth of a pound, so two of them, three of them would be a pound, so looking at 14 cents. What was it we had on breakage? 12 cents? We're losing out on a pound of breakage, so we're losing out on 12 cents. See, I don't really know. I'm gonna ask my yard before I take them all apart. I may just throw everything all in as breakage. I mean, losing two pounds, but. Most likely going to take them all apart. And, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what the yard says. What they want to pay for such a deal. I don't think... What, 10 minutes? 10 minutes of my time to break down. And if I'm going too fast, not on video, about 6 minutes an hour. that's half a pound. Half a pound extruded is 40 cents. I think 
even at two pounds. I'm doubling my money if I'm just getting extruded by taking the covers off and nothing else. Like, these are sheet. Um, it's just flimsy. It's a different type of aluminum. You can definitely tell. Another two hole. I think I'm definitely going to break down the bigger lights. I got a Keurig right there I need to break down. Touch the stuff. Even like this. Probably break that off. Probably not spend a lot of time to clean it up, but I'd probably just put it in another bucket and have it like painted aluminum or whatever. Or like maybe a number three or maybe they give me just sheet for it. Who knows? Hopefully this is on camera. The chisel will do it. something to clean it or I guess sometimes it has plastic we'll see I'll see I'll see I'll see I mean like that like how much time it took me sometimes stuff like this just ends up going in the breakage bucket I do, I'll definitely have a transformer bucket going. The really old steel ones I know had PCB in it, but I don't even know what they had. This type of fluorescent fixtures and PCBs were in common use. And that has copper in it. 
So some of these small ones, like relays and stuff. No, that's a heat element, but you can overheat deal. That one, same thing. Come on. Like if you break them open, they have this inside. I think these definitely. Relays this out of the vending machine. Got some cast aluminum down there. I don't know if I had cast on this stuff. So I'm gonna ask about this. I don't know if any board guys could have an answer about Hey, if they give me low grade at like four cents a pound, so I got a pound each. You got 30 of them. What you get? Sometimes they just break open and boom like that. That's going to be your number two copper, which doesn't seem like a lot of number two copper. And it really depends. Unworthiness to break it down, I mean, but at like a buck a pound. You're already making it on the extruded if they pay me extruded. So. I thought I had a bucket of number two. I do have a bucket of number two down here. Might as well just. Number two is going to be your motors inside your electronics. The TV yokes. Looking like that, that's number two right there. Mm -hmm. All right, but that's it for the ballast video, I guess. Half a pound of extruded is gonna be, I mean, 10 to 20 cents instead of 10 to 20 cents for the whole thing. So you make that, or no, at uh, two pounds, two pounds, 20 cents. Half a pound, I mean, could be 20 cents. So, yeah, we'll see what they say. I mean, with this rubber. I just don't know. worth my time to peel it off. I don't really think it is. That's another thermal switch or something. Let's double check this. Point six of a pound. So you gain maybe a little bit. 
got some questions. This will be my, my question of the day at the scrapyard. Thanks for watching.